Be advised, mature content ahead. This podcast is brought to you ad-free thanks to the Legion of Demons at patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. If you like what you hear, there's much more at patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. Join the Legion. That's patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. And now the show. How do you do? Just a word of friendly warning. I think it will thrill you. It may shock you. It might even horrify you. So if any of you feel that you do not care to subject your nerves to such a strain, now is your chance to... Uh, well, we warn you. Oh boy, howdy. Howdy, boy. We're doing sacks on, sacks off still. Yeah. I got my sacks on because <laughs> I don't want to put bare feet in my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> sacks and shoes. <laughs> oh, I want some socks with John Saxon. Oh, face John, on. John Saxon's. Um, we're doing Blood Beach. Yeah, we are. Which is, uh, we'll get into it. <laughs> we'll get into it. But before that, Amy's going to review the Amityville Curse. Oh, boy. Part of the annual crop of Amityville movies that comes out with video every year. I feel like there's a project in there or somebody who's watched every movie that has Amityville on the was it Was it a bad crop this year, I guess? I don't. It wasn't they, a great crop. It, it was They planted on dead ground. <laughs> <laughs> it had been salted. Yeah. Uh, thank you for being a patron if you are one. If you aren't one, please consider joining Patreon. It is literally the shoestring that we do this on. We just uh, put, uh, we're going to put an Origins up there, um, which is where we go back 12 years in the past. 12. Yeah. And we review the show we just did, we did then. And then we were like, oh, God. It was the Taurus Trap episode. Taurus Trap. Yeah. Um, and Zombie, if that's what you're into. <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's the draw. I'm looking everywhere for your zombie coverage. Patreon.com slash NOTLP. That's where that will be. Yeah. And Top Can is coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, uh, you know, whatever meetups. We have a meetup this. We have all kinds of tomorrow. fun stuff at the Patreon. Yeah, we have a good time. Um, oh, it's Wednesday! Holy shit! I know. We I know. normally <laughs> record on Monday. I just realized that. Yeah. But today is Wednesday, which means listen, we norm- I'll normally watch the movie for the show the night before. Yeah. Um, on a Sunday night, then we record on Monday night. Yeah. And there's a little bit of brain drain in between that 24 hours because, frankly, I'm I try to in do my it 40s. Uh, the day of. Well, yeah, I rely on you guys, but like we're now three days later. See how this goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, to be fair, <laughs> to be there's fair. not a lot to sink your teeth into. No, no. not this week. That doesn't mean it won't be fun. Oh. We're going to have fun. Oh, right, Kelly? we're going to have some fun. <laughs> we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun. Um, I, yeah. yeah. That reference means nothing to a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I know. 300 years ago, <laughs> Kelly saw a promo for NCIS New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. Speaking and of New Orleans. History was built. And then years after yeah. that, yeah. I told everybody about the commercial. Yeah. Years afterwards, it was like two to three years after that, that I'd been sitting on, oh, we going to have some fun. And then I told everybody about it. I like and how it's been years since then. It now. progressively got more and more Cajun. It going to be oh, fun. Gone. <laughs> Who was it that said it in the commercial? Uh, Bacula. Scott Bacula. Scott Bacula. Of the uh, group of like bland white men, he's the best one we determined did we do this on air or was this I don't elsewhere? know. We've been watching Stargate SG one with Richard Dean Anderson. And it, it has caused me to think back. All right, you have your Bacula, you have your Richard Dean Anderson, you have your Mark Harmon. Any other bland white men that need to be put in a Oh, that? don't forget uh don't forget uh From that time period. Br- Nash Bridges. Oh yeah, Don, Don Johnson. Johnson. Don Johnson. He Corbin Burnson. Yeah. He some, uh... Corbin Burnson I would put in this group. Don Johnson had a little more edge than the others, I think. A little more cachet. Okay. I think. But not by much. He's not close. Much. If, if he might be the king of these men. I just he would, might no, be the I king. want Scott yeah. Bakula to be the, the king. The blandest of the bland. And if you put yeah. Don Johnson in there, it threatens the kingship. Of oh, Scott I see. Bakula. There's a challenge to the to the throne. And I'm a Bakula stan. Mm. Through and through. I feel you. Oh yeah, he great. <laughs> <laughs> he have fun. Oh, he gonna he, he, he gonna, gonna be great. Richard D. Anderson is not great. 
public service announcement, uh, uh, Renfield is on Peacock. And it's great. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's good. Watched it today. I thought, I, I, the word I would describe is cute. It is very cute, but it's also got some meat on its yeah. bones. If you're a fan of Todd Browning's Dracula and the Universal Dracula, it's an awesome expansion on that. So I, I'm, I'm comfortable saying... It is the most entertaining Dracula movie I've seen since Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula. And I watch a lot of Draculas. They haunt my dreams. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know Nicolas Cage got the uh, most of the press for that, but I thought Nicolas Holt was the best part of it. He's great. To me next. Aquafina was great. Yeah, I love her. I've been watching that Nora from Queens. And this is not, it's still goofy, that role she did in, in uh, Renfield. But it, it was, it had, uh, she knows she can she can tone it into a yeah. certain place and hold it there. It's really impressive. Yeah, shit. she wasn't the the main comedic uh, person in the movie. It was other people, so she was kind of the straight man. Yeah, they got to kind That's of spread it fun. out. Ben Schwartz, great. Always John great. Ralphio. Yeah. I don't know why it just doesn't appeal to me, but hmm. he's like, "Hey, I got to watch Redfield for Horror Home Radio. Do you want to watch it with me?" And I'm like, "No, <laughs> <laughs> I just can't." muster it up i feel you i feel that way about most things right now so um i think season two of strange new worlds is is, is oh tonight right is, yes, oh does it start tonight yeah, or today so. yes i need some more star trek although i haven't seen picard season three yet it feels like my reward for surviving something i'll watch these things our 90s sci-fi rewatch is going cracking along oh you still watching sliders yeah sliders we're watching Stargate, and then we followed up with the sliders, and we just did the weaker sex episode where it's a world where men and women's gender roles are reversed. Oh, one Society. of those dimensions. Mm-hmm. But see, here's what I don't understand. Mm-hmm. I'm carsing this. Will you come on this journey with me? Let's go. They slide into this parallel dimension where women are in charge. Sure. And um, they're like, they make the point to say... Because women are in charge, there are no wars. If men were in charge, there would be war. Right. But then they have women just basically behave like men. Yeah. They're aggressive. They're overly sexual. They're like all the things that define that like version of masculinity that when you think of that starts wars and stuff they're, like they're, that. They spread their legs on uh, public transport. They're, they're legs <laughs> spreading. They didn't cover that. That so was not like, in the public... Uh, consciousness consciousness yeah. yet if you're just gonna have your women act like men then why aren't there wars what is the magic formula so that's the only thing then i couldn't stop that, thinking about it that's the only thing that was different in this world there's no wars hillary clinton was president and they got a look like oh, i cried i can't even it was a pretty fun moment they go to this hot dog stand they think they might be home you know on the right re- finally made it back the old quantum leap thing. yeah and uh Speaking of Bacula, and they go to a hot dog stand. There, there's a TV there, and it's like now the president of the United States, and it's Hillary Clinton, and it's a pretty good look alike too. They offered the role to Hillary Clinton, and she turned it down, obviously. But what? Yeah, and that what? is what she lost her the twenty. Yeah, because pe- they could have because everybody remembered from twenty years before she could have been on sliders. Mm. Yeah, apparently, like, she was well, a good president. And she sliders. turned down the sliders. <laughs> um, <laughs> I never turned down a slider. Well. Just like they couldn't conceive of how women would behave. Was everything pink? As women. Did, did they go like super stereotypical? Was everything like pink in this world? No. Thank God. No, it was basically just women acting kind of the way men and do. do. Mm. So how were the men acting? Just like very women. passive and like very women. passive. Yeah. I mean, I <laughs> there was like, like a, a male suff- suffragette kind of movement happening. Yeah. They could vote, but it was like... There were like these characters that had bought into everything. That this one guy's like, I cycle twenty times. Was it twenty times a day or something? Like women only have once a month. Once a month, but men do it twenty times a day. <laughs> so I couldn't possibly be in a position where I had to make any important decisions. Is that true? Do you guys have like hormonal cycles? I don't know. Man, I am having a just a fucking nightmare of a PMS cycle right now that resulted in me threatening JD Vance today via email. And I said it was a threat. The threat was for him to have diarrhea, but I don't. Have, I don't. I don't think that could be considered a credible threat. So I think I, we're okay. I sent it, and I am like a little freaked out. No, you're not <laughs> going to get in trouble. I'm TSA you, pre-checked, though. They know I'm okay. You can't. Uh, what? What? How would you? You? A hope is not a threat. <laughs> okay, I didn't she, say hope. I said she this blatantly is absolutely, said this is a threat. I hope you get diarrhea forever. This is a threat. 
Right, but that's not a threat. But I can't. But it's give not a credible threat, right? Because she can't give him permanent diarrhea. That's I don't a hope. know where his right. little sorry ass lives. I don't give a fuck. Asshole. It's not He's really the only a... one I can yell at. Yeah, I have to think that this is the email that's going to change his mind about everything. It's the third mm-hmm. one I've sent, basically saying "fuck you." Why are you such a weasel pig? Fuck. Now, since In you continue to send weeks. emails, <laughs> that might uh, today. that okay. might get their attention. Uh, yeah. But the threat yeah. about diarrhea. I didn't threaten anything on any of the other emails. I was just yeah. like, "You're stupid and terrible, and your mother would think poorly of the way you behave." Now, would he do that? Made you wish he had permanent diarrhea now. Um, <laughs> What has Because I've I've avoided the news since the beginning of the year for well, my own mental one, health. Oh yeah, I don't know anything th- that's he's happening. He's threatening to hold up judicial um, nomination um, like he's approvals, throwing a fit because of the Trump thing. Um, then he was gonna um, he wants us to pay all of our student loans back like by tomorrow with interest. <laughs> he's well, like that Amy, seems fair. He pulled himself up his from his bootstraps. Why can't you do it? Lies. White privilege pulled your ass up, sir. I mean, there's some and work in there. I, even if he's a asshole, I not anymore. I hate to say that. It's a loser, um, fuck. Yeah, it's he's a gross. I dude. hope he has diarrhea every day for the rest of his life. I can't <laughs> believe I came to JD Vance's defense for a minute there, because the only reason is I, I I'm worried someone's going to hear that white privilege comment and take it somehow that you don't mean it. I read his fucking book. You Listen, know all about JD Vance. I was raised by a single mother. Mm. I was an only child, single mother. I'm not, I don't not know what it took to get him to where he went. Right. That's why I'm so fucking disappointed in him. Well, it's I'm like so that, full of PMS um, right now. Like the rage is intense and I'm shaking yeah, a little It's like right that, now. um, that Tyra Banks clip, like we were rooting for you. You yeah. ever see that famous? No, gif? but okay. yes. I, I like the, the expression. <laughs> yeah. Who were they talking about? Well, she's just yelling at this she's uh, model on the contestants. Uh, on, she was top models, and she's it's like, great. "We were rooting for you," and she's like tearing her down. You can tell that is. It, well, that, you if finish, you didn't know yeah. Freddie was straight, yeah. him not knowing what that was, yeah, that, is how you know. I will <laughs> tell you, Amy. When Amy finished JD Vance's book, Hillbilly Elegy, you were like, "This is really. This is the kind of I guy." I thought it was a good book. I was like, "I hope he gets okay. into politics." And then he turned out to be a total turd. Went through sh- some hell, man. Yeah. Mm. And then he's basically just like all the rest of them. I'm sorry. I am like, it's really bad. My anger and like hormonal fluctuations. And I don't care how many men are listening to this right now. You're just going to have to listen. <laughs> Why would uh, you shouldn't yeah. care? Why would it, there's nothing we want? I, to listen to. I have a hard time every month. Yeah. And this happened to coincide with the indictment, which you'd think would make me happier. Come on. Wow. Didn't seeing his, uh, his bathroom make you a little happy his double chandelier bathroom that was tacky af yeah. and his uh dollar store curtain rods and shower curtain i can't be happy about any of that till he is ch- sentenced to sitting in a prison cell oh i can't be happy until he's dead i want jd vance's <laughs> well, diarrhea yeah, I mean, to flow awesome. into trump's mouth it's like as long as he's in prison he <laughs> still has human centipede them? a voice and well, some influence yeah and if you don't live in this country, you don't want to hear about this. I don't know what to do either. Yeah. If he goes to jail, you think it'll be a lot of orange is the new orange jokes? I sure hope so. I hope he goes to the same prison where Elizabeth Holmes and Jen Shaw are right now. The Theranos lady and the real housewife of Salt Lake City are in the Celebrity same prison. Jail. But I want him to go there too. Ooh, they and they'll put him a, in the lady jail with them. They should make a uh, Bravo should make a series about that. Oh, Andy, go and get in there. Let's make this happen. Mm-hmm. I, I'm like you, Kelly. I think I'm on an edge until it's resolved well i just can't like i i i'm not i'm like i'm not paying any real attention it's it's very like oh they 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 passed down the indictment okay but i can't be like good yeah boy until it's like because he's going there's so many opportunities to weasel out there's yeah. opportunities for horrible precedent to be set mm-hmm. by the supreme court there's a lot of awful pot there's still a minefield yeah of issues to get through that could set horrible precedents. So until it works out the way it's supposed to, which is him. I get you. I don't want to like engage with it every day. I can't, uh, I can't like buy into it. Amy, be ignorant like us. Ignore Uh, everything. Well, you know, uh, I don't, don't read the news. I don't have any real good social media to get it out on. Like Twitter's a cesspool of nonsense. And Reddit and Reddit shut down. Reddit for two was days. shut down and is yeah. still partially shut down. In some places. some of it. There's still stuff open. And I went on to Twitter just to yell, but like, what is that even doing? 
<laughs> there's nowhere to yell at things. Well, you got you got you got you, big backyard. You got JD Vance. I'm so angry <laughs> right now. You always have JD Vance yeah. for the for until he's gone. When yeah. he's even out of office, you could probably still send him emails. I fucking hate him so much. <laughs> Check in on him, see how's that diarrhea I'm stuck coming with along. His ass for six years. I hope you have Ugh. diarrhea for at least six years, sir. Ugh. I'm so tired of this. I know. I'm just it's. I'm in a place right now where I can't help it. And then I'm pushing it out to all of you. Well, I don't think he meant he's tired of you. Doug. No, <laughs> yeah. not you. I'm tired of the, of the, no, no, uh, I didn't take it that way. Situation. I am tired of it oh, too. Okay, Cause I wondered why you apologize. But like uh, my, no, no, no. I knew what so he meant. Tired of this. No, no, no. That's her persecution <laughs> complex. She feels responsible for everything that's happening. Well, no, I do feel like I'm like ruining a mood of somebody yeah. right now, but you're, like you're, mine's ruined. So fuck you. It's like, you're, yeah. like, you're like Samara, Amy. <laughs> You've got to pass on the curse. <laughs> Mm. Everyone will suffer. <laughs> That's what I want. Which was in the movie, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We should cut little clips of JD Vance and Trump into the ring tape. <laughs> Going like beep boop bop. What was that time he made robot noises and just put it in there with the ladies brushing her hair and then there's like a bug and then there's Trump going beep boop bop. I like the scary movie three version better where the guy sits on the toilet and you see his ass coming in. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Or it could be like the man woman camera TV thing, but you could actually cut to like black and white clips of each of those yeah. things. And it could be like hairbrush, cockroach, <laughs> bottom of a well, TV camera woman, fly on a wall, fly, <laughs> horse eyeball, <laughs> McDonald's. Let's throw him in a well for seven days. Oh, oh my goodness. That'd be only. awesome. And just be throw awesome. a bunch of bricks down there. Um, contaminate that water though that's for certain it's already been it's contaminated good. with all that orange makeup it will yeah. seep into the groundwater it look like fucking tang yeah. you gotta get one nice thing that happened see i can still be grateful it rained it did no i was very grateful <laughs> and for it was the rain. nice <laughs> it was nice we it needed did, it, it didn't make it humid either no because that's cincinnati rain for you it rains and it's like a swamp in here yeah it's been a very autumnal kind of past couple of days and evenings is, is beautiful it chilled out nice. it finally rained our, we hadn't had rain in so long our sod is doing better oh, oh good. Yeah. good the girls love it. i mean the girls the dogs you have a boy and a girl yeah and a girl cat how many girl cats two girl cats two girls two, boy two boys. cats um so it rained and that's nice my jalapenos and my tomatoes they need that water yeah yeah um my neighbor's got a new dog she's got the cutest little dog. name sugar her name is sugar she's nine years old they found her downtown just it, wandering around i mean she they got her from the spca they didn't just scoop up somebody's dog and right. take it. <laughs> does she live up to her name she's a twin little blah, blah. she's super sweet yeah she's got little like they got diabetes that's mm-hmm. how ears Probably. yeah Little guapo like yeah. body. Aww. Yeah. Almost snuggler right now. Well, let's stop the show and go. It was kind of a magic moment because Amy was having a really hard day and I was kind of grumpy because of I'm just grumpy too. Ha- tired. Happy wife, happy life. Unhappy wife. <laughs> I'm unhappy grumpy. Life. So I go, all of a sudden I the dogs are losing their mind. I look out and there's this little doggy out there. And we I hung out on the front lawn. We all spent some time oh, with sugar and she turned her mood should, around for a little bit. Go next door. Can I borrow some sugar? Ah, two scoops, please. <laughs> yeah. It was so nice. It she was. just seemed so happy. And you got to think after nine years, I don't know what her life was like before. But she's got a pretty cool life right now. Like, listen, yeah, my neighbor, you know, he carries a gun everywhere he goes. <laughs> but other than that, he's very kind to animals. And <laughs> he is. she's going to have a yeah, great Lord. life. And she was so happy about it. Yeah, she was running around. We she, could all be like sugar. She re- answers to her name. And she got excited and ran to me. Oh, Give me a kiss on my face. I'm in love. I know, that's all it takes. Do you want to move on while you're on a positive note? Yeah, I guess where we get all in our emotions. Happy birthday, Fozzie. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Yesterday. Yesterday, right. Yes. Hello, boys and girls. It's time for straight to video Russian roulette. When owning a house is a pipe dream for many, I cannot imagine a better group of people to embark on this insane adventure with. Yeah. Yeah. 
You know there's no actual evidence that proves this place was ever haunted. Mm-hmm. But there's no evidence to prove that it isn't haunted either. I know about the previous owner. Can you still haunt the place? This house has been haunted since 1975. The very soil itself is infected with evil. You're living in the belly of the beast, and it's always hungry. You don't think it was the house, do you? Yep, to yep. be original, the Amityville curse. Yeah. Question for you guys before we get started here. Sure. In this movie, they kept referring to it as, you know, that family and that thing that happened here. Referring to the DeFeos. Are are they the referring to the Lutzes or the DeFeos? The DeFeos. Okay. Because they're talking about the murder. like uh, Right. Um, But they never call them the DeFeos. They never talk about them in that way. Is there like a legal reason they can't? Maybe. I mean, it's a, it's a real life fact. And uh-huh. he killed his own family in that house. Is the Amityville house itself, like, as a story point, copywritten in some way? Like, you can't even... But it's called the Amityville Curse, so... I no, just... I don't think so, but, I mean... Uh, I don't know. It's so Maybe weird. it was really just a easy, like, throwaway. Maybe yeah. they didn't like, even I mean, know. Maybe the people times. who wrote it didn't know. That's They're like, so what weird. is it? Yeah, you know. it could have been. Yeah, they might have just been like, do we want to look into whether They're the Canadian. rights to the story still exist somewhere? It's a Canadian movie. Yeah. Oh, um, no. I mean, oh, you know, no. it's a pretty important Quebec. question when you think about Quebecois. the Lutz family and the fact. talk about the Lutz. Well, they sort of talk about well, it. What I was going to say is maybe. like you talking about the rights, though, is why, why I brought it up is because the whole idea behind it is selling the story rights is supposedly the motivation behind the hoax anyway. Right. Because they got in over their head with the house. But it's their story. If you're referring to a crime that happened in a home, right. that is a news story that anybody could Google. I just thought it was weird that they multiple times, multiple times referred to it as like that family and the murder and the son and never used the names. Hmm. Huh. It could have just been preventative. Yeah. And they never yeah. talk about the Lutzes except for there might have been one or two like comments and they don't talk about the uh, uh, Ed and Lorraine Warren. It's um uh, these old college friends buy a house um to flip it eventually and turn it into a, they buy the Amityville house to turn it into condos which first of all how dare you <laughs> <laughs> like no you keep that as a house that's a thing even though it's a hoax and I I I believe the Lutzes were not truthful I do believe that but I also think that. Some freaky shit happened in that house. Like, it's fun. Oh, like, yeah. keep it there. Well, it's Don't... a murder house. I yeah. mean, that's could, above and beyond could, anything else. It's like a historical monument. <laughs> it, it, it's terrible. It is. But to people like me. They're yeah. going to build condos in the middle of a suburban neighborhood in They're going to remodel New York. that. Yeah. It's very stupid but when you think about it. That doesn't even it. make sense. The but Canadians. Does, come on, they, guys. <laughs> do they, did they know about the curse before the Amityville they knew house? About, yeah, they knew about the history of the house. And they, okay. It's a very flimsy excuse. This movie was not great, and I don't super recommend uh, it. I could all. tell by the trailer. Well, the did, acting was good. The actors did the, were good. How did the house look? Because everybody knows it by the windows. Did they have the windows, at least? I think they had a, that was either CGI it, yeah. or. The trailer showed something that didn't look anything like the Amityville house. I, it was, but I, I didn't see the movie. It was either a, they built something or it was CGI to look like. I bet they CGI'd something. Only showed the outside There's a few no times. fucking way they built a house. Yeah, and they didn't film it there. I it had all the all the like Canada, your tax dollars paid for this shit on it. Like they're not gonna film it anywhere else. Yeah. So um what was I, I yeah, the acting was great. The story was just super bland. We're a bunch of friends, we buy this house, weird shit starts to happen. We also have some weird interpersonal shit. Um, you know, like this guy used to date this girl, but now, you know, he's with this girl, Oh, but they're still built doing this together they're as a group. They're still friends doing this together as a mm-hmm. group. People they have learned. a lady general contractor. 
Get the fuck what? out of here. What? Is this the future? Like, <laughs> I doubt it, right? A woman? <laughs> I didn't see no pink hammer in there. Um, Gosh, see, we watched Blood Beach three days ago. I watched this movie four days ago. Are you having trouble remembering? <laughs> it's giving her a reflux. It's so hard. The most likable character they kill off, like, right away. Yeah. Um, The entity in the house, because there is one, basically, you know, gets them all to commit suicide and shit um, oh. till they're, they're whittled down to just three of them. Out and they're the still sex. trying to turn into condos. <laughs> they're like, look guys, don't let's don't give up this dream just because four of us have killed ourselves. <laughs> right. so there's three of us left. We can still make a profit Yeah, in the span of how many I mean, days honestly, has this happened? Cause the cut will be bigger. Okay. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I was thinking like a week or something and like four no people shit. die. The like, first guy dies. Like they watch him. He looks like he jumped out of the window and like, Oh, they do right in front of thing. him. They're just yanking from all kinds of things. But like, Literally, they have like one scene right after they he he dies. Then they have a scene where they're like having a beer, and then the next scene they're back to life. I mean, literally, this happens. Do they have a funeral for the friend or anything? They don't show. They, they do. They don't do the rainy funeral scene. That's oh, like for one or two of them, I think. <laughs> where they're I under black remember. umbrellas together and they're they're whispering to each other about what could have possibly caused this. This is very weird. Um. Fuck, do I remember any of this, you guys? Was Jody the Pig in it? No, but the Red Room was in I the basement. Like you should just make a series of Jody the Pig movies. Just focus on that one element of the Amityville horror. Yeah. There was a priest character. He was fun. <coughs> Did he get covered in Excuse flies? Me. No, but he does get injured by the entity. Mm. Then, um, no flies, no Jody the Pig. The dude that was in uh, the Roswell show from the 90s. You guys remember it? The guy with the yeah, big oh, hair yeah. that sort of looked like David Duchovny. Oh, yeah, the, the doofy one. Brendan Fair. Yeah. Fair. No, what? Fair. Fair. Because there's Bear, and he was the non-doofy one. That was not him. Fair didn't play Bear? Fair was the, the, that the was doofy Jason one. That Jason Bear. That's Jason Bear. Was the other guy. Yeah, I know Bear. exactly. I can see that he's so doofy looking right. from Roswell, which I actually he's watched. He's like mildly less doofy now. Oh, okay. He has to be like 40. All right. He grew now. into his looks, yeah. and he's like a he's paranormal still, investigator. He still have the hair? It's not as, no, no, it's definitely flatter. It's not um, as Blink-182 anymore. Right, right. He doesn't gel it all the way up. Um, he's in it, you know, shit happens. It's crazy. Ghosts. I honestly don't remember the end. Well, this sounds okay. like a very non-memorable movie. No it, matter what, what. That's what I was kind of getting at. Like, it was just very bland middle of the road. I didn't feel like there was any thing special about it. Oh, God, that feels so harsh. And you said the acting was The good, acting though. was really That good. sounds harsh. I like the characters despite just like weird motivations and weird I think writing. you're being very generous to this movie. But now I need to like start from the beginning. Every Amityville movie ever. Mm. You thinking about it? I need to see the list first. I need to understand oh, the they, amount. You, you make a blog like uh, Cretton did. Your summer, summer of Amityville. <laughs> oh my God. It might be a year of Amityville. That sounds horrible. It does. Amy and Amityville. And your it's, your name's in it, Amy Tavill. Anyway, yeah, not a huge recommend, but I do think Tubi has such a great collection of weird shit, man. I saw their, I'm gonna I keep Tubi. mine. In I, it. I saw their uh, remake of Terror Train. How is it? It's like what you expect uh -huh. from a Tubi original. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, um, I are they giving a sci-fi level like stuff now? Because I. Been yeah. kind of missing that. Maybe that's why I watched so much Rift Tracks. I saw somebody say like there was a list of like like good current slashers, and they had listed the Terror Train remake. And there's a part two. I guess they made it at the same time. Terror Train two from Tubi. Yeah, <laughs> Tubi's Terror Train two. I watched the trailer, and the, they gave. I don't like the the clown mask. A lot of tease too much. They changed the terrible. Them. Remember, he had the uh, in the original Terror Train. It was like a it looked like a Groucho yeah. Marx. Kind I didn't of mask. see the original but, Terror Train. Oh, you didn't. The post. We did just the judging by the poster, that, it, it's a real turn off. Wait, wait, wait. What's Terror Train? Is that an anthology? No, it's the movie with uh, Jamie, Jamie Lee, Lee Curtis, Curtis and David Copperfield. It's like a New Year's Eve type thing. Oh, we did do. Yeah. I forgot all about that. Yeah. <laughs> It was the medical student graduates who were having their party on the train. You had to say David Copperfield. David Copperfield. Yeah, and David Copperfield. There was a magician. You, know, you said you watched it, yeah. right? The remake. Uh, was the. Is it David Blaine? David Blaine. Honestly, I do not Chris remember. 
Yeah. Um, I watched it for 31 Days of Terror. Oh. And that's like almost a year ago. Yeah. Wow. And it was fine. Yeah. Um, but from what I remember. <laughs> was it? Remember the original was kind of like campy and fun? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. It was like an 80s that? vibe to it. But it this did? one. Or no. Uh, you're asking the wrong person. It's it's not, okay. no, it didn't know what it wanted to Ready. be. Ready. What he's trying to say. But here's yeah. the thing, like like Amy, I she watched this four days ago. She can't remember. Yeah. I watched Fucking this shit. almost like nine months ago. I can't remember. It couldn't be that great if you can't yeah. remember it. So I'm not gonna watch yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell you what really happened in Pacific Rim, but it's one of my absolute favorite movies. Like shit fights. Yeah. I remember that scenes. one I could tell you. I feel like I have to see a movie. Th- three times now yeah. mm-hmm. to really, cause I, I feel like I used to, well, I realized this cause I was like, I don't, I don't remember any movies I watch anymore. And at least point out to me, she's like, well, you don't watch them three, four, five times yeah. anymore. So if I remember movies, it's probably because I've seen it five times. Yeah. Now I don't. Same thing with TV shows. The only reason I know, it's always sunny, the office or friends is because I watch them over and over. That's again. true. There's a lot of stuff I, I forget. Like I've watched Bob Bur- Bob's Burgers, but I don't remember an episode from the last couple of years. There, and there are so many seasons, and it's like I've watched every one. But you you ask me a question, and I'm like, I don't know. Like, I, I, remember, I don't remember that episode. I remember a bunch. I remember a lot of moments, and I first three or four seasons. Yeah, yeah, I remember because I, yeah. I watched that over and over again because there were big gaps between each yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now there, I don't know when new season starts anymore. And that's okay because I like being able to just go and be like, "Oh, there's a new episode. Good. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. And nice. Good. Good. It's like a little surprise. Good. Hopefully, yeah, this uh, strike will come oh, out right okay, down. and we'll get more. I've had no Colbert through all of this, and we feel like he's usually pretty good. Do you want to spin the wheel, Amy? Um. Yeah, but, but first, first I'm going to tell you. Spin the wheel. What the movie is. For next week, it's Brooklyn 45. Oh, look this is this on is Shutter. It's 93 minutes. Hey. Friday, December 27th, 1945. Five military veterans gather in the ornate parlor of a Brooklyn brownstone. <laughs> That's a lot of bruh. Best friends since We've childhood. We've been gathering in Mr. Brownstone. <laughs> Best friends since childhood, they've reunited to support their troubled host. But when his invitation for metaphor... Oh, but when... Sorry, I skipped a little. But when his invitation for cocktails turns into an impromptu seance, the metaphoric ghosts of their past become all too literal. Trapped in their host lounge, the greatest generation now finds themselves put to one final test with their only route to freedom being more bloodshed. Starring Ezra Buzzington. Oh, shit. Where's he been? We've met him. He has been and Larry working nonstop. I hope I and get this people. one. I love a parlor um, uh, mystery thing. I love yeah. it. Yeah, seance, always good. Yeah, hit that wheel, baby. <laughs> Not always, but often. Oftentimes. <laughs> I've heard good things. Like, people have been raving about it online. Rave. It's so raving. Raving. Uh, well, look at that. That's me. Andy. Andy. See, I put it out there, and it came through. Yeah. The vision board. I like the little woo in the, in the uh, cheering. <laughs> It's, this is a big... What was it called again? 45? Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Oh, 45. 45. It's on Shudder. Don't just watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Uh, you or can do like, that if you want. I'm going to watch two episodes, two episodes of that, and that's 90. And then... You mean half of an episode yeah. of Brooklyn oh Nine-Nine. My God. And then you'll still be ahead yeah. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's math. The California coast, playground of America, until something deep beneath the sand turned it into Blood Beach. Blood Beach, where the water may be the safest place to be. Rated R. The best thing in that trailer is at the end, there's the lady's head in the sand, like buried up her neck. She's just bouncing up and down with her eyes rolled back in her head. The the narrator made it seem like a fun romp or something. Yeah. <laughs> they want you to think it movie. was. It was tedious. <laughs> yeah. It does not hold up as far as It's a great anyway. way. Did it help? Did it it's hold up idea. back then? Well, no. when I was a kid, I thought it was great. I same I remember I I remember seeing either bits and pieces of this whole thing once or twice as a kid, thinking it was scary as shit. Yeah. Scary. I mean, it's scary parts where people get sucked under the sand. Well. But the execution That of is it, scary. I can see how I thought it was scary, and yeah. it could be scary, but I feel like they did not, oof, they didn't do a what good job. What they did wrong in this movie over and over again is, like, explain things that are not important. And, and not explain things and that not matter. Because, ex- 
you're watching this movie and like a character is interacting with another character for a long time and they clearly have some sort of relationship but you're like what is the relationship who are you there were well, so many conversations that. There, like that scene with um the investigator and like this lady's giving her um statement it went on for 10 minutes it, about a oh crime my God, yeah. about a crime that had nothing to do with anything <laughs> there with were it. so many conversations there'd be and then but then when there was a kill it would just be someone on the beach mm-hmm. they would get sucked under and scream no and blood. then we go back to a really long conversation yeah yeah and then somebody would be on the beach and they'd get pulled down and there'd be a crowd of people and they'd be like, what? And and then they'd be like, we don't know what did this. It felt like a really <laughs> weird episode of Baywatch. Yeah. Because it's all the same locations and stuff. Does it have like the love interest it's stuff? Santa Monica mm-hmm. Pier. Yes. Who was the fuck was even in this movie? Well, Bert John Young. Saxon. I couldn't believe it. Polly from... Uh, yeah, that's Bert Young. Yeah, yeah Polly. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Playing guy, the detective. One of the detectives. He was great though. He had a hat. He, yeah. was, he was in a totally different movie than the, uh, everybody else. Yes, was he least, was. was like, you can tell he's a cop because he's uh, shoveling food in his face. Yeah. And he's, he's got, got a dumpy hat on. He's got a tie that's undone. He's got a very uh, Sipowitz kind of yeah. demeanor. Yeah. Um, the John Saxon was like, his whole role was to like. <laughs> he was the best part, honestly. He was great, but they kept giving him these long monologues, which he was great at doing and making them interesting. But, but the it monologues was like, made no sense. <laughs> with a. Why are we? Yeah. No, what are we recapping it's like, here? Um, <laughs> it's like somebody wrote his part of the script with Mad Libs. Yeah. <laughs> because it was, it was like the sausage was mus- whis- whiskers. Oh, it felt like, yeah, like a sausage with whiskers was like an express. I think they let, it feels Useless, like they let like, him improv and they're like, get weird with it. He's the <laughs> captain of the police department. Yeah. Yet he and, and uh, Burt Young's character, the detective who's investigating this stuff, they don't seem to have any relationship no. in this movie. And then the civilians also, all the relationships between the civilians are also very unclear. And the police, it feels like there's two different police forces and two sets of civilians. <laughs> and then you're watching, like you were saying, the, the, the literal completion of an actual police report, it sounded like, question yeah. by question. Yeah. Oh. But do you, I don't remember them ever really explaining or figuring out what was happening other than... There is some sort of being under... There's a being. Yes, but why it's all a of a sudden now? Made a plant. Yeah, yeah that's but a thing. But that, yeah, they didn't give you anything because, like, else. It did, was this happening for years and years and nobody noticed, but this seemed... There was, like, multiple no. kills back no, this to back was to like back. A, this was like a flurry. That made people finally up. realize. It was a... um, what, what are they? A flap. Yeah. But not UFOs. This just didn't make sense. The most interesting part of this movie is the story about the main character, the is actor. Oh, the in real life. I thought you meant the movie because he was murdered. David Huffman. The he guy chased Henry a, Calder, yeah. He saw a guy getting robbed in a parking lot. He was playing his bagpipes in Aww. his van. He had brought cookies to the cast of some play he was doing. Saw a guy tussling with a thief. Followed the thief in the in his car. Like they went off into the woods, and the thief stabbed and killed him. Oh, well, that's well, there's your problem. Yeah. Don't follow a thief Don't into do the that. woods. I mean, it's a nice gesture, sir, but you didn't need to lose your life over that. No, drive to a drive to a phone booth yeah. and put a quarter into it in the time that this probably happened. Yeah. And, and dial 911. Yeah, sad story, though. Back to the movie. Sounds like a sweet guy, too. Yeah. Like bringing yeah, cookies, playing cookies, bagpipes. played bagpipes in a van. Yeah. David Huffman, yeah. he was high. great. Yeah, he was probably having a great old time. Yeah. Thought he was doing the right thing, trying to be a hero. He was oh, heartbreaking. He was great. There are a lot of shots a, of the beach. Bad. There are a lot of shots of the beach. I mean, actually, now that I think about it, not as many as you not think were ones. in a movie well, called Blood Beach. It was yeah. one of the most poorly made movies I've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> no, between yeah. the sound, we couldn't hear what people were saying. Oh, the yeah. And there were constant yeah. scenes of just blackness. Wasn't it the and boom? The boom, oh, Mark. So much boom. And there were a lot of scenes where like, there's like a light in the background, but it's so intense yeah. that it washes everybody out. That's right. You think yeah. it's in black and white for a second. Mm-hmm. You're like, what happened? No, it's just the light. And the boom mic, yeah, shows up, but they must not have the <laughs> volume turned up on the mixer because <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> it was, everybody was mush mouth. Maybe we just had yeah. a bad copy. I mean, I, no. I don't know if it's on Blu-ray. So. It shouldn't be. It is on Blu-ray. Don't waste the energy. Me put, I mean, maybe the Blu-ray is great. I don't know. I, somebody's maybe there's an edit where they cut out all the police station scenes and left in exists. only the kills. <laughs> and wrote in an explanation. Yeah, and, and, yeah. 
all I the mean, scenes of just people walking and looking for things. You know, all what? of a sudden, underneath the beach by the Santa Monica Pier, this plant being has decided to start eating people. What would have been nice, and I know this makes me sound like a monster, is some blood in this motherfucker. No, it's called Blood Beach. Yeah, there there's was not a lot none. of blood. There was dog blood. There's only a little bit no, of beach. Make me sad for the fucking dog blood. in the beginning. There was one scene where there's actual blood with the Swedish. Um, a stewardess, she got sucked under the beach and got stripped. Yeah, naked. oh, that's right. Oh, For no the reason. The rapist, he, he got his dick bit off. Yeah, there was uh, blood there. Right. But oh, and the lady's legs. Yes, mm-hmm. that was, there's blood there. But I'm fine with gratuitous nudity. But this seemed extra gratuitous. Well, it was extra gratuitous in that she got pulled down. It stripped all her clothes off before it ate her. But yeah. then it. It didn't strip the guy's clothes off. Nah, and we were we like, I guess that. he's like, I ain't gay. No, <laughs> <laughs> no homo. I'm just a big plant. Likes to eat people. Yeah. <laughs> he likes to eat dicks. <laughs> he, he bit a dick off. That he was did. kind of fun. Which was fine because it was a rapist. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> just, just a, a sad dog. That poor dog. <laughs> this mean old bitch gets eaten. Yeah. But the dog loves her. And it, it goes back down to the beach I, I to like mourn and try to dig her up. Yeah. And then the dog's head was gets it her hat? off. Or was it the other lady's hat that was just on top of the sand the other she got sucked hat. down? Yeah, this movie was a cashing on like cashing on Jaws, obviously, but like all they had to do was follow the fucking formula. If you're gonna do a Jaws ripoff, don't add a bunch of do extra it. shit in there. Yeah, yeah. do it. Relationship d- drama. Oh my god. This is so like people who didn't really know how to make a movie. It seems that way. We're like, I mean, not even like, and when I say that, I mean, in any way, shape or form, like they did not know how to make a movie, <laughs> even to the point that other people who don't know how to make movies know how to make a movie. They were like, oh, the boom. Oh, the, oh God. The scene where the boom it was is there in there for like 30 It's just moving around. Seconds. Yeah. And it's moving Maybe quickly. Longer. It's darting back and forth <laughs> it's between the actors because it's trying to catch this. And here's the thing. Dialogue is fast. Even dialogue. that scene was poorly boot mic'd. <laughs> we couldn't even hear it. Yeah, you I still mean. couldn't hear it. it. Was it plugged in? This really just felt like people who were like. This was fun. Like we're going to make a Jaws movie. Well, what's it going to be? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's a BG's plant people. under the sand. Like we already did the beat. Here's the thing. It's safe to go back in the water. What happens? What happens? It's not safe to go on the beach. Yeah. yeah. And that was like the whole idea. That's the tagline. And that was as far as they okay. got. And, and down to the casting. You guys were making fun of this guy's looks for so long. Which guy? Hoagie. 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 It, wasn't his, it was the fucking hair and clothes. You said, said, so he fucking said, 80s. Oh, he, he, looked, said, he, looked he looked like, like a rock star. <laughs> you said he... But he looked like he was made of Play-Doh, <laughs> yeah. You said, at least say he looked like Caliban from... Um, oh, Calabas, yeah. Calabas, yeah, he did. From uh, Clash of the Titans. Titan. Yes. That's yeah. the devil, the, uh, the Burgess Meredith yeah. devil character. I don't care for <laughs> men in tight jeans. It was so with tight. With hairsprayed and like crazy hair. I'm not into it. I'm sorry. It is my preference. I told Kelly he was like a big like casing full of brown Play-Doh that they put tight jeans on and it forced all the Play-Doh yeah. out of his head, like Fun Factory. Yeah. Uh, that's the hair. I thought that was accurate. But he also had like a Led Zeppelin rocker kind of vibe yeah. about him too. Yeah, I'm like sure a, he's He had fun. like a uh, fun sleazy vibe to it. Yeah. And the, the singing scene that had nothing to do with it. Remember he had that oh, duet yeah. with that uh, his girlfriend? Oh, right. They sang the country song. They sang in the beginning when they're riding their bicycles <laughs> and they're harmonizing and they, pretty well. And yeah. then they had a, a scene in the bar. With them just I, I bet they were like an actual team outside of this movie, and they were like, "How? What can we work in our oh, singing?" That's right? Oh, Somehow yeah. they weren't bad. Like, yeah. The fun part was in that scene. Like, they didn't ADR the music. It was just they set up mics in the bar. It sounded yeah. like. And so they were like, when they went off key, they went off key, and it was like just a live yeah. musical performance. <laughs> which in a movie this fucking messed up and dull <laughs> is welcome. Where in a good movie, I'd be like, it was a bright uh, spot. Yeah, it was a bright spot. Uh, I don't man. remember it. The doctor, <laughs> who they just call Doc most of the time, D- Dimitriopoulos weird. or whatever. He was a doctor. He was like, it's funny. I think it's because we've been watching. His choice was weird. It was a little too intense. Yeah. It's like, we've been watching so much sliders, you know, and he's like, <laughs> he's like the maximum. So there's, there's your problem. Yeah. Well, he's the same kind of, he's the scientist in the sense that he can do anything they need. Like he's like the coroner, but he's also the guy who understands that it might be this carnivorous plant or something. And like <laughs> they gave him way too many but jobs. He was just so angry. I don't know why he was so intense. Yeah. That was this. 
Well, they're yeah. asking him to do everything. It's his hand thing. Yeah. Are you playing with the hand fart thing? I picked it up absentmindedly and I squeezed it without thinking. It made Give a fart sound. Me. And now I feel like I owe the listener an explanation. There you go. I need to take that away. Put that from in your him. desk and get back to me after school. What, um. <laughs> like, they just, like, people just got sucked down in, in the sand. Yeah, and then that was, was it. There was no, like, tentacles coming up. There was no blood. There was, they just were just pulled down neatly. There was some clawing. Um, yeah, there was very little. There was very little attempt to make anything uh, happen. <laughs> there well, there was <laughs> one of them was pretty dynamic. The late was it the first lady? It's the one that's in the trailer where she's like whipping around, trying to recreate the Chrissy Jaws yeah. moment. That's you know, probably the, that. That was probably the first one they shot. Yeah. It was the best one, <laughs> and that was probably the one they used <laughs> to sell them. They were like, "All right, let's do." For, that was day one on yeah. the set, and they're like, "This is going to be great." And then they just, it and that was down. it. Well, I knew we were in for a long trip. The first scene, the cop comes out and yells across the beach. The whole lady. conversation. <laughs> the oh whole conversation. Oh, yeah. Literally, they're probably like 100 yards away from each other. And they keep walking away from each other. And yelling. That's and the only, still keep, kept talking. That's the only way they like to do exposition in this movie. They Yell. wanted to dump a shit ton of exposition <laughs> through conversations between people who were far away from each other. <laughs> yeah, And it's got to be Wendy and there has to be heavy machinery too. Yeah. Jesus Christ. What an, what an ill-made they movie. They kept walking away from it. And the voices kept getting thinner as they kept yeah. walking away. And you're not even sure what they're talking about. Is it important? I don't know. No. It feels like small talk yelled at uh, each other. I, I realize that this is not a, a super well known mainstream movie now, but like this movie is. You know the poster though. Is well yeah. known enough that you're like, how? How did this movie get to be Jaws. well known enough? Because of Jaws. But that people still remember it. I think it was like it, all those ripoff movies that it came out in that era, something. I think, got an undue amount of attention that they wouldn't get today. Right. Well, that's, I agree with you, but like, it's still like they put out a Blu-ray of this movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, some people, would, I, I remember like I might've been one of the suckers who would have not to call you a sucker if you bought this on Blu-ray, which I know some of you have. Um, I, I would have been one of the guys who has all the sentimental, that primal fear sensation when I remember the movie and then to have rewatched it now after all these years, it's shocking. Yeah. How how nauseous! How how little how little effort, like how little of a structure there is at all. Like it's it's literally like you say, like not a movie. Uh, yeah, I, Kelly, I think this was qualifies in the This one qualifies as not a movie. I would agree. Yeah. I mean, there's just a lot of talking. Yeah, and then people tied get sucked like, down, and then yeah, it's not tied together. It's not no. even like so bad as good. And no. like you, I was like say like. If you can riff tracks this, then it's partially entertaining. But well, there's nothing yeah. you can do to riff tracks this because I don't know about that. I don't. Know, I don't know if it would be worth it because you can't hear what they're saying, so you can't like riff on the dialogue, and you can't see anything that's going on, so you can't riff on that either. Some of my favorite riff tracks are the most ineptly made movies where the, those two conditions. Because <laughs> they <laughs> what did we just watch? They make shit up, like the guy from Harlem. What did we just watch? That was so bad. Oh my god! Riff tracks. So many, and movies. it was like this. And I was like, maybe that was, that was a good time. Maybe no, they could the, do it. From the guy in Harlem, I can hear and see what was going on, though. Yeah, all true. the time. <laughs> to, to hear what they're riffing on. There's a lot of mumbling <laughs> in that we, movie. Did we tarnish John Saxon's legacy by doing this movie? No. <laughs> well, I mean, he was People in People need it. to know. He signed the contract. He got, my, he got well, We didn't know this movie was that bad. It's, it seemed in. like a good time. No, I, th I remember liking it uh, or, you know, it making it a, uh, you know, uh, having an effect on me. Yeah. And now I'm like, huh, <laughs> it's a mess. I wonder why. I mean, it was fun to go in my head. Oh, I've been there. Yeah. The location. So I had that. I must have been a very small kid when I saw this. Like, I can't remember when it was as a Like, when I say, oh, I saw this as a kid. I don't remember what era. So it must have, I must have been very young. It's definitely a TV one. I don't yeah. think we saw this one out in the theater. I definitely didn't see this in the theater. It, it was, was, like it was either a rental TV. or TV. Yeah. I feel like it was a rental because of the cover. I think the cover might be why we got it. Yeah. It feels like one of our net, network video the horror wall network video. Mm. Oh yeah, for sure. And it's a great title. I would have been, I was so excited. I'm like, yeah, shit. Blood beach. Of course. Let's yeah. do that. Yeah. Do we remember nightmare beach at all? The other John Saxon beach movie. I it's remember a, liking was, that it one. It was a fun slasher. Yeah. We did that in an earlier episode. 
search Nightmare Beats on notlp.com if you want to hear what we thought about that. If I want to hear what we thought of let me know what I thought about it. Yeah, yeah. let us know. <laughs> if you could do that. Um, let's do something more John Saxony wanna, for next week. He did like a Westerns, didn't he? Something where he's more prominent because I feel like we've we've watched a couple of side gigs for him. Well, he did direct a horror movie. Let's do that. It's like what the, is only, is the he only, in it? I think, yeah, Death House is the only. Um, Let's do that. The only movie that he ever directed. I don't know that he appears on screen. Well, he directed uh, it. Um, well, we'll yeah, decide. Yeah, he does. He plays Colonel Gordon. What do you think? We'll, 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 we'll just suss it out. We'll figure it out. We'll but it out. Uh, it's known as Death House or Death Zombie or Zombie Death House. A uh, renegade federal agent uses a new drug to create an army of unbeatable warriors. I feel that's like treading oh. uh, ground already because we have a location and a scary word already. Yeah. Blood Beach. Yeah. Death House. It's Death too, House. It's House. too similar. <laughs> too similar. <laughs> <laughs> scary word plus place. What did we do last week? Tenebrae. That, okay, that. Yeah, all right. So we got to break it up. Teen Bray. You want to do 11 Bray? <laughs> Um, so great. There you mm-hmm. go, Blood Beach. But Saxon was good. Yeah, his, he was pretty good. In his weird monologues. We had a discussion, uh, Kelly and I were like, that there was a cut of every John Saxon movie where he has one karate kick. That's right. <laughs> he gets to do a karate kick. And Did then he kick we, in this? This was, they no. Cut it. He oh, cut it out. Yeah. That was our whole bit, was that we'd like to see the outtakes where they had to edit out, <laughs> where he improv karate kicks, and they just let him do it. But then they kick cut a filing cabinet or yeah, a bunch of papers off a desk. See, or he deliver a speech and then just sit, step back and just like do it. Yeah, and then they had to edit it out, and we wanted to see a smash cut of huh. all the. Uh, but this is all. This was all in in our brains. Well, that was the most yeah. entertaining part of the movie. Yeah, it Kelly was. And I, we had a shared delusion together during this movie. <laughs> yeah, we were like, wouldn't it have been great? If mm-hmm. this- <laughs> the making of Blood Beach documentary we yeah. started working on. Yeah, well, you had to entertain yourself during this movie because yeah. This wasn't entertaining. For it sure. was not. It's not an entertaining movie. I think Elsa farted. Oh, probably because of this movie. <laughs> Dog <laughs> fart incoming. Could be JD Vance's diarrhea firing up. Maybe. Asshole. Ooh, Amy, you're doing the Lord's work. God, I hate him so much. Um, I mean, just drink your fluids, and the diarrhea won't affect him, and then therefore no threat. And how am I going to give him diarrhea? Uh, you Secret can't. Service? It's not. It's already Are not a you threat. Listening you to can't me? threaten to hope something. Um, <laughs> you can't threaten the hope. <laughs> like a I bowl. keep threatening the hope. <laughs> like, bitch, the hope. I hope you do, have do diarrhea. Not. That is a threat. Uh, what was the name <laughs> of uh, Obama's book? The Audacity of Hope. Audacity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's your your book. The threat of hope. <laughs> the threat of hope. Um, at the end of every show, we say hi to our Beelzebubs. Do you smell the dog oh. fart? Yeah, see? Uh-oh, it must be making its way it around. It ain't great. Uh, Patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P if you want to be a Beelzebub or there's other tiers, of course. But these are the people that we like the best. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding. Elise! I do like you the best and the love you. And I'll see I like you quite a bit, too. I can like all these people. So much um, Alyssa. Hi, Brand- Alyssa. Brandon and Emily. <laughs> Jeffel. I own a good one. Oh, a great one. Dr. Brian. I own a Brian one. <laughs> Bill's a poppin'. Oh. Is Doc Brian also, like, if we have other science questions, like, if we have a carnivorous plant. We can call him up. We'll call him. Do you, yeah. Like, I've see. seen, I've we'll seen this tomorrow. before. Okay. Bill Farner. Frosted Blake's. Blaine yogurt. Sometimes if I just say it like super straight. I love our breakfast. You can uh, put Blaine segment. yogurt on Frosted Blakes. Mm-hmm. It makes them better. Yeah, they're, they're both part of a complete breakfast. Jordache jeans. Then you can shake your little booty in your uh, new smaller size Jordache jeans because you're eating better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paul. <laughs> so, Paul. I heard Paul been playing the drums. Oh. We need to get in the same room. Yeah. Jeremy, Cassie, and Gamora. Ernie. Dave Siebert. Oh. And Monica. Hey, oh, hey. Well, well, well. Oh, and Shane, if you're listening, we love you. We're so Aww. sorry about oh, it. Yeah, Absolutely. So about we love you. That little baby went over the rainbow bridge. <laughs> and also, happy birthday to Fozzie again. We said that already. I know. Now, it's like I, a thing. now you get two. Uh, now you get two. Wow. Twice as many birthday wishes. Aww. Bye, everybody. Frankenstein was wondering if he. 